What's going on my survivors and welcome to what is going to be a time lapse video of my boy Lawson or Mr. Mr. Timothy Lawson is going to be creating me a uh, an enchantment area here in this area in this room here. Um, it's going to be all redstone based so y'all get to see exactly how he builds it and at the very end of the build he's going to briefly explain how he did it, the materials he used, and so on and so forth. So, if you guys are looking forward to that, don't forget to hit that like button down below, guys. And of course, guys, if you guys want to become a part of my survival family today, you gotta hit that subscribe button, guys. And also, at the very corner of the subscribe button, guys, if you guys want to get notified whenever I upload a video or go live, you gotta hit that little bell right there, guys, to get notified. And without further ado, Mr. Lawson, I hope you are ready.
not hear me? Can you not hear me? Cool. And that's the build, everybody. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed the uh, really bad Cameron cameramanship by me. Um, I'm never good at this, but uh, yeah. So Mr. Lawson now is going to explain exactly what he did to make the build that he did. Like you saw it, but now he's going to explain how it was all done. You're, you're going to hear some stuff in the background, but that's because his roommates are loud. I'm well, our friends are loud. Anyway. Anyways, um, so I mean, it was pretty much a double piston extender. What I needed to figure out was one that worked that I can tile it, which means it needs to be one wide. Where if I built the second one next to it, it won't mess with the first one. <sighs> And it all needed to be on the outside. I couldn't have one on the inside because, I mean, there's not a lot of space to work in between. Yeah. So, what I decided to go with was observers because rather than them getting powered and then they stay on, they just read the state of the block behind them. Okay. This allows me to still have the timing down for the, re the repeaters, but it only clicks it on once when it gets powered and once when it gets powered off. Yeah. And then on the bottom, I had the repeaters that are powering the bottom pistons. And then the repeaters on top of the reserver, with the observers, power the top piston. So those shut off, not at the same time, but pretty much they shut off where the bottom will push up, but the top is already powered. So when they shut off, the top one shuts off first, allowing it to retract the piece and then it pulls the piston that retracted down. At the same time, the repeater that was pointed into the observer turns off, which then creates a like one tick pulse from the observer, which will make the top piston re-extend and pull the block back down. Yeah. Hence why we have a double piston extender. Okay. Then this one just kind of creates a step. That way you can get out. So you can jump down and get out. You don't have to stay in there. Yeah. Um, the bookshelves actually work for two things. Because one, they power your your uh, enchantment table. But the second thing they're doing is they're actually hiding the redstone. Yeah, which, which makes complete sense. Now, in most cases where I put the chest, you could have more bookshelves. It isn't going to make it any more powerful or weaker. They'll just be there. Um, but they'll cover the redstone better than a chest because the chest doesn't take up the whole block, so there's a little spot that you can see through them. Yeah, it's, it's fine. But I like to have the chest on there because I can have a chest that's like books that I'm enchanting yeah. and a chest that's tools I'm enchanting. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense, and I'm probably going to be utilizing that pretty well. That way, my well. enchanted items are still hidden away. Yeah. Um, it all wires to one wire, though. So as long as you can, with this wire that's, I think, like right here-ish. There it is. So with this wire right here, this top wire pretty much powers everything. So that's your input wire. As long as it's hitting this, it'll power it. I know you said you wanted it over here. Yeah. 
like right here, right? Like, yeah. And this right chest there. is gonna have to move. But it's 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 empty. Can I turn on the TV just a little bit? Can you turn down the TV? Just a little bit. What? Just, 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 just until the video is over. We're almost done. And here we go. Can you get up? Nice. And what I do want to go ahead and do, just because it bothers me, that this is the off position. Go ahead and invert the signal. Oh shit! That pushed me up. Yeah, they still do. And That's... there's the start of your oak block. Oh yeah. Um, Tim? This can't be here. Um. There we go. Perfect. You're gonna need more oak planks, but yeah. Believe me, I have the planks. So yeah, from there, now it's turned off. But once you hit the switch, it opens up to a nice clean thing. Awesome. And guys, that is the um just in time my fucking battery is low. That is the hidden enchantment table, guys. Um if you guys want to see more builds from Lawson or time lapses by Lawson or more redstone tutorials stuff like that, you gotta make sure you hit that like button down below, guys. And uh let us know if you want to see more of this. And also, if you want to become a part of my solo family today, you got to hit that subscribe button. You know, just to subscribe as well. And of course, guys, if you guys want to get notified for whenever I go live or I upload a video, guys, there's a little bell right there next to the subscribe button that you can hit it and get notified. And also, guys, I'm Hopeful Survivor, and I will see y'all in that next video, guys. Peace.